Hey friends, hope you're doing fine. Today I'd like to share with you a trick on how to show nothing if nothing is selected in a slicer. So let's get into that. So you see that by default, I have here a little visual with bar charts for different kinds of countries I have, right? And I show their sales. Now let's say I'm using a slicer from my suppliers table. So I go into the slicer option here. And of course, I first need to deselect this visual. Let's take this. And I go into the slicer and take a look at the supplier name, take this option and choose here the slicer. So as you can see, if I drag this maybe to the side, and if I would select one of my suppliers, let's say the first one here, I can see that my data changes, right? Because of a relationship in the model. That is what we expect. However, you can also see if I deselect my supplier name. So basically I have selected nothing in here, then I can see all the data. So basically, Selecting everything and selecting nothing is exactly the same behavior in Power BI. That's the default. Now, what if we would like to change this? What if we would say that if nothing in the supply name here is selected, then I don't want to show any data. So there has to be a selection in here. Otherwise, show blank, so show nothing. How can we achieve this? Well, we can use a little helper measure for that. So let's right click on one of the tables, or you can also do it directly on home or under um, modeling and create your measure. So let me do it here, create new measure. Then we just wait and there's the measure. And what we do is we simply can check whether the supplier is filtered. So supplier filtered is equal to, and I go to new line, and then I can simply say is filtered and then my supplier name. So this simply returns a true or false depending on whether one of the supplier or several of the suppliers are filtered. And because we want to convert this into a number to use it as a filter, we simply put an integer before. So int, like that. And this means we convert the true or false into a one and zero. So true is a one and zero is a false. So let's execute this and we can easily check this. I can go in here and I can create a little card and then I can put my supplier filter in here. And you see it currently it shows a zero. But if I select anything here, so this one, for instance, I can see a one. If I select several of them, I can also see a one. So this just means is a supplier selected, one or more, show one, otherwise show a zero, right? So move this and you can see this here. And this is exactly the measure we're gonna use now to filter this chart. So we can say under supplier filter here, we can drag this into the filter after we select the visual, make sure you select it, drag it in here. And then you can simply say, in this case, is, and it should be one, right? because or is not zero, right? So if I click apply, you see that now it is gone. So because we haven't filtered anything, that's why the visual is blank. And only if we select something, you can see that then we can see data. Or if we select several of them, that would also work. And that's basically the trick. So this allows you to slice and dice or to filter based on the slicer selection and Choose the default behavior and uh, change the default behavior in Power BI, meaning that if nothing is selected, then don't show anything. So if you have a use case for that, now you know how to do it. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. If so, please give the video a th thumbs up, share it, and also please subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot. Take care, and hopefully see you in the next video. Until then, best guys.